Hello, it's Annie Debbie. Hope you're well and you've had a good day. Um, it's just me on the video today. Uncle Sean's a bit busy doing some work inside, so I thought I would take on today's video by myself. I hope that's okay, but don't worry, he'll be back again tomorrow, I am sure. So, today's video is a challenge video. So, we went to get you busy making something today. And I thought I'd try and think of something that you might have laying around the house that will be useful. And I don't know whether you can hear that in the background, but I'm outside today and I can hear some birds. And that made me think of an idea. So what you will need to find is one of these. This is an empty kitchen roll holder. Now I'm pretty sure most people have either these or empty toilet rolls around the house to use. So. That's the plan. We're going to turn this into something useful today. Shall I tell you what it is? Yeah, okay. We're going to make some binoculars out of a kitchen roll. So, in a bit of a different way of doing the video, and I haven't done it before, so I hope it works, I'm going to show you how to make it step by step as we go along. So the things you'll need, a kitchen roll or two toilet roll rolls, cardboard ones, a pair of scissors used under supervision, some ribbon or some wool. I've got both but you could have one or just the other or all different kinds of colours or you could use cotton if you don't have that and you can also use some colouring pencils to colour it in. Uh, again I don't have any of those but if you do use them and some sellotape. All right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you as I'm making them step by step. So I'm now going to move the video, all right? So watch out, because you might get dizzy. Here we go, I'm going to move this down so you can see the front of the table. Hopefully that's not making you too dizzy. All right, so you can see my hands. Here I am. I'm still here too. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we need to do is take your kitchen roll or if you've got toilet roll ones you've already done this you don't need to do this part you just got to cut it in half so take your scissors and cut roughly where you think the halfway point is and then you'll make two here we go cutting around this feels a bit like a blue peter video i've just realized <laughs> you might not know what that is <laughs> okay so there we go i've made two and look they already look a bit like binoculars don't they so we're going to keep them apart for now and then we're going to get some sellotape and some i've got some ribbon here and i'm going to make some patterns around the edge of mine but you can do yours anywhere you want to so what we're going to do is stick on with a bit of sellotape on the end of the binoculars like that see it's stuck on there's a starting point and then really easy, just going to wrap it around. Oh, see, there's quite a knack to showing this on the camera, isn't there? Here we go. Wrap it around the end. Nearly there. Just going to go right to the end of mine. You see, I've made that all pretty on the end. Now I'm going to cut that. Get some supervision if you're doing this bit. Oh, it'd be hard to cut my ribbon. Okay. So there it is. And I'm just going to sellotape down the other part. So there we are. See, I've wrapped the ribbon around the edge. There's one done. There we go. See, it goes all the way around the edge. Now I'm going to do the other one. So again, you take the piece of ribbon first, or wool, or cotton, or you could just colour yours in. You don't need to do ribbons on yours if you don't want to use ribbon. And wrap it round, same way as we did before. See, it's wrapping around. Here we go. Oh, it's quite noisy out here. Well, you can hear the plane in the background. 
it's late afternoon coming into the evening here in Australia. It's been a nice warm day today too. All right, here we go. We're just wrapping around the edge. We're gonna get the scissors. Yeah, get some help for this bit. These ones are a bit difficult. There we go. Okay. Stick down the other side. There we go, see? So I've wrapped my rib around the two ends and they're gonna make the ends of my binoculars. And now, we need to stick them together. There's two ways of doing this. First one is get some sticky tape and stick them down inside. So go in one end, and stick it over, and then into the other end like that. See, there's sellotape tape on either side of those. See, it's holding one end together, but this end's loose still. So we need to turn it around and do the same thing on that side too. Stick in one side, stick to the other. There we go. See, they don't move around now. now. The other thing you can do is get some wool like this and stick it around the edge too, on this side. So here's a bit of sellotape here. And then just wrap it around this side. Just make sure that it stays on nice and tight. See, I've wrapped that around the edge. And now, this is the bit you might need some help with. We're gonna make two holes, so you can put this around your neck. So make a hole in the side here. There we go. See, there's a little hole there. Now I'm going to cut off some wool. Let's make a nice long one. Here it is. Here's my wool. Ooh, this could be tricky. I'm gonna push the wool through the hole. Let's give that a go. Need to make the hole a bit bigger, I think. See, there's my hole. I just licked at the end of the wool and made it easier to pull through. Threading it through. And then we're just going to do the same, like this one, on the other side. Now you can do this with sellotape. In fact, we might even put some extra sellotape on this just to make sure it sticks. There's one. This end's hanging around. So let's do the other side. And do the same thing again. So make a hole on the side. Oh, here we go. Are you still paying attention? <laughs> it's a long one, this one, isn't it? But we're nearly there. Now, I'm just going to feed this other piece of wool through the hole. If I can get it in there. Come on, hole. Oh. Here's the end of my binoculars. Here's the hole. The wool's gone through. Yeah. Bed it through. And now I'm going to tie a knot in it so it doesn't get stopped. And then I think we might be ready. Yes. So you can put a bit of extra sellotape in those to stop them coming off. It depends how much you're going to wear your binoculars. And there we have it. There's your binoculars and a string for them to wear you around your neck. Let me show you. Ooh. Still there. Here we go. So there's the binoculars I made. So I put ribbon around the end. And here's the string so you can put it around your neck. And here, here you go. I'm ready to spot birds in the garden.
So there you go. I took one piece of kitchen roll and made some binoculars to spot birds in the garden. Hopefully you can have a go too. See what you can find outside in the garden. Hopefully the weather's good with you today too. Otherwise you might have to do it from the house looking out the window. But fingers crossed, it's a good day there too. Lots of love. Enjoy. Send me a picture if you make them. Love you.